What is up guys, it is Nick and we are back to really start the official like start of Let's Platinum Detroit Become Human. I got my roadmap up. We should be good to go. Uh, let's see. We're missing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 trophies. The trophy for um, Connor staying a machine finally popped yesterday so let's see where is it <clears throat> connor stayed a machine it popped yesterday shortly after i turned the video or i stopped the video so that's good but we have marcus uh let leo win connor caught up with rupert the tracys were killed hank killed connor marcus broadcast his message without raising an alarm or having a team casualty Marcus stood his ground against the police. Marcus succeeded in making the soldiers stand back. Kara and Alice passed the border. Connor killed the leader of the Deviants. Find every single magazine in the game. Connor died and returned at every opportunity before reaching the end. Everyone is alive at the end. Uh, so we will have to replay the final mission. So I want to take a quick look at something in the final mission and see where our last checkpoint is before I reset this. Because depending on where the checkpoint is, it will depend on what I do. Um, in the Battle of Detroit. Because I'm going to do it peacefully, but I do have to... Oh, it's all locked. I forgot because I saved. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's because I killed Connor and Marcus in my... Okay, where's my... Okay, so at the crossroads... Okay, looks like there's only one checkpoint there. I can't even look at Connors. But I don't think there's a check... The only checkpoint would be right there, I think. Maybe the Cyber Life facility. Looks like for Connors' last mission, there might be a checkpoint there. That's about it. And then for Kara, it looks like... Okay, it looks like you can load at 49... Okay, so there are some decent loading spots, but let's go ahead and hop into this first story, or not first story, first mission. So, in this episode, so hostage, we need to we need to make the sacrifice option, or just get Connor killed. I'll probably do the sacrifice option because I think it raises the public. If I just get killed, I think the little girl dies. And that's not good for public opinion on Androids. I, in fact, turned the audio up for my mic a little bit. It looked like it was a little low yesterday. But I'll see what this episode is like, and uh, I'll go from there on adjusting the audio and whatnot. So I'll be doing a lot of the stuff, uh, but I won't be doing like everything. I already did a full playthrough trying to do everything, but uh, it all depends on how I'm feeling with the game and whatnot. If I'm like really back into it as much as I was the first time, then I will definitely do everything I can. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am, you, you need to go. You can't do that. You, why aren't you sending a real person? family picture I always wanted actually like the little girl I understand she's not an android but she kind of looks like one of the android children Captain Allen, 
My name is Carl. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. But you know what? I never actually knew he looked at you, or he was talking to you there. I thought he was just ignoring you and talking to that other guy. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know its name? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. What, my whole point in this is, is I don't really get why, like, he's being such a, like, cock lead about it, because I'm just trying to get information so that I can best do this so that, uh, I can save the little girl. Reconstruct. I don't even know if you have to do any of this. I wonder if you can just go through this mission. It. I mean, I don't want to. I'm not trying to like speed run this thing. I do really like this game. It's not like, oh, uh, you know, I got this game and it's kind of easy to platinum. So let me, uh, let, let me do it. I do really like this game and I wanted to play it again. All right. Uh, let's go this way. This will also be my first Platinum on PlayStation. Um, if you guys didn't know, I played on Xbox. I played on PlayStation 2 and then I got an Xbox 360 uh, instead of getting a PlayStation 3. And so, um, I've been on Xbox pretty much exclusively. I mean, I've had PlayStation 4. I had a PlayStation 3 at times, and then I had a PlayStation 4 twice, two different times. Uh, but I have a PS4 Pro now, and I've been playing a lot more on it. I have God of War I need to play, and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition. So I'll probably end up playing those on the channel. Watch this first. Yeah, so this will be my first platinum trophy, at least on this account. I might have gotten platinum, a couple platinums on PS3, but overall, I've only platinum. I'll only have this platinum on this account. All units hold positions. that one. I don't actually remember what the analyzing points on him are. Okay, it's just three bullet wounds and something else. Maybe his eye. I think it's his eye. Yeah. Let's see. Six foot, 187. Oh crap, I didn't reconstruct. Come on, go back. Alright, reconstruct this bad boy. But I'll probably just do one episode of this until completion. Um, there may be multiple episodes of other series in a day, but this will probably just be a one episode a day thing. The game's not, I, I guess the game's still kinda new, but it's not really new. It'll truly just depend on how I'm getting stuff done. I have been working a lot more. I've been working a lot more, so I don't know how that's going to affect. I don't know how that's going to affect my recording time and such like that, but...
I think that should give you a clue. That should be like, hey, um, so he's this place. So he's standing on this balcony. I think it should be a clue, but it's not. model number stands for. I know like, um, like the Tracys have a specific model number and stuff, stuff like that. Shot deviant. Cop down. Gun over there. This is the highest probability of success I had going in that I've ever had. That's it. I have an 83% probability of success. I think just because I did it, I timed it better. Alright, Daniel. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! I'll try for some of these decisions to, uh, to talk about what I did in my first playthrough and why. Eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I'd kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. She betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Whoever their voice actor for her is, it's just terrible. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I don't want to get that toy. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. There's no way out, Daniel. 
What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. You hear me? All right, Daniel. I'm trying to get... I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna refuse. I don't think they'd listen to me. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Okay, here we go. Can I please, please die? I have to die in order for this to work. Okay, I died. Alright, I'm good. I died. I for sure died. Alright, good work. Mission 1 was a success. Obviously, I'm doing more because that was really short. But overall, first mission, first mission successful. Let's see, how close am I getting to? Eh. Okay, so the thing I, I could I should have left the fish. What's the other option there other than go outside? Missed an option. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's continue. I don't believe I hit. There's nothing here because this is just like a story intro. There's nothing to do here. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two different languages and dialects. Anne handles the kids' homework in the elementary school. Good afternoon. Can I help? Please, we're looking for a different Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it costs? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. That's like, that's like an insane we'll deal. <laughs> an excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. Interest-free, two-year warranty? Why don't you get that in present day? On, like, stupid stuff. Like, I just bought a laptop. And, like, it was, like, six months, and I was like, um... I'll just pay in full. Well, he doesn't make any sense. I'll just pay in full. It's a bit different than getting back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now. Except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. It's a good thing that I don't actually need my roadmap <laughs> for this mission because my Mac restarted for some reason, but I'm going to do an unboxing probably. It won't be like a high quality one because I don't really have a camera to do it. But I'll probably just record it with my phone. Um, I'm supposed to get a new laptop tonight. Um, the CPU in my Asus just went out, so I'm actually recording this on an Asus with a shattered screen. Um, 
Because I thought I was going to have to wait a long time for my laptop to come in. Um, it looked like it was about a two-week wait for a G7 and a one-week wait for the red G5, but the black G5s were ready to ship, and it was two-day shipping, so... I just went with the black. It's not color really doesn't matter. I'm gonna put. I'll probably end up putting like a skin or. I have some Witcher stitch stickers. Then I might cover the Dell logo and put them over that. But it's a Dell G5 with um, six cores, an i7 six cores, uh, 256 solid state RAM. I forget all the specs, um, but it's pretty high. It's it's medium end. I mean it it, it was. I don't know, it was a medium end for a laptop type price. Um, and I got like the middle of the road model. I wanted to make sure it had the six cores. Um, I upgraded the solid state drive and some stuff like that, so. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a gaming laptop, but I didn't really necessarily buy it for gaming. I just bought it in the sense of it had everything I wanted. On top of it, could play games. I think that's enough for today. Here. Let me help. Oh. I think is it oh uh, hold on. There's a magazine in the park here. Hold on. I forgot this. Magazine at chapter start. My laptop reset just in time. It's right back here. I don't know if I got. The, I don't know. Is it? Yeah. I don't know if I got this one. I'm just gonna go through and get all of the. Uh, all of the magazines that I found, creating my roadmap, so that uh, even if I got them, I'll get them again. It's not a big deal. Um, and then some of them spawn different stuff depending on what you do, so I also have that kind of stuff in my uh, roadmap. So that's the only thing roadmap-wise in this one. Um, so this will probably be the last thing we do in the episode because the next one... And, uh, there's not a whole lot of stuff I have to do per chapter. Most of it is just... Most of it is just like one or two things, like, oh, there's magazines here in this chapter. Oh, that thing is green right from the start in this. Okay. Oh, early. I pretty much did everything in this episode. I mean, pretty much tell you what happens. There's the guy singing here. There's the guy, preacher over there, who is pissed about androids. Who calls you a demon. Other than that. There's not much here. There's the hot dog cart, but you still haven't quite figured out how that works. I'm gonna try it on the way back. There's something to do with interacting with the with the hot dog guy, I think. Or the food truck, whatever it is. I guess it can I guess being a food truck and being a hot dog stand are not mutually exclusive. Target 3021. Looks like some interesting movies. I can't move. Okay, there we go. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Such a cool way to pay. Transaction complete. Like, I can envision a world, I don't know, probably 30 years, 40 years down the road, 
um, where we have chips like that, microchips, where we can pay with thinking and start our cars and stuff like that, all with just thinking. I don't know about androids like this. I don't know, 2038 or whatever year this is. That seems a little ambitious to have androids out of this caliber. I mean, at some point, I assume we'll have, like, robots that are kind of mediocre and, and, and do a job. But I think, like, overall, I think it's kind of hard for, uh, to have an andro androids of this caliber. So I'm just gonna skip them. I already saw them. They just try to beat you up and then a cop steps in. I mean, it's like... Oh, there's not the left... I think if you walk around this way, you can avoid them. Alright. Wow, this just worked out perfect. I'm just, like, walking right up to these areas and hopping in. There are some things like that that I care about doing because I kind of enjoy them, but, like... <laughs> it's like a three-minute thing of watching those guys punch Marcus and kick him in the stomach and him get on one knee and then the cop come in and tell him they're gonna ride him a fine if he if they keep beating him up. So, cop walks him away, you get on the bus, and it's exactly the same. Oh, yeah, I didn't unlock anything. I'm missing one thing on this. I should have looked at my road maps and figured it out. So I'm missing something up there at the top. I don't actually know what that is, but that's the only thing I'm missing in this chapter. But yeah, that's going to do it for this first episode of Let's Platinum Detroit Become Human. I'll go back now and listen to the audio and make sure it's all good to go. If there's any issues, something's too quiet, I will bump the audio up for the next episode. But I will catch you all in later. We'll be taking on, what is it called, a new home uh, in the next episode. So peace out.